What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a slider in WordPress. I'm gonna show you how to make a slider like this and how to change the images, the text, the buttons, and so on. And I'm gonna show you how to display this on your website with both the WordPress editor and the Elementor page builder. And I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. So whenever you're ready, let's get started. So step number one is to install the slider plugin. And we're gonna be using a free plugin called Smart Slider 3. It's super easy to use. So in order to get it, just go over to the plugins tab over here and then go to add new. Now from here, we're just gonna go up to the search bar and type in slider. And then you'll see Smart Slider 3 right here. So now just click on install now. And then click activate. Okay, so step number two is to create a new slider. So to do this, just go over to these tabs on the left and scroll down until you see Smart Slider. And then just click on that. Now it's gonna ask you if you wanna walk through it. I'm just gonna click close because I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So it's gonna ask you if you wanna create a new slider from scratch or use a template. So if you wanna create a new one, you can do that. But honestly, I'm a template guy because it's always nice to have foundation laid for you and it takes away all the hard work. So I'm just gonna click on template library. And in order to just see the free ones, all you have to do is click on the free tab, which is this green one. And now you can see we've got a few free templates to choose from. So if you want, you can just click on one and it'll show you what it looks like. And then you can just kind of scroll through. So I kind of like that one. So all I'm gonna do is exit out of this. And then if you wanna import it, all you have to do is hover over it and then click on import. Cool, so now that's been imported and you can now see that we've got our three slides right here and this all makes up one slider. Now, if you wanna edit these slides to put on your own text and images and so forth, all you have to do is hover over one of the slides and then just click on the edit button. Cool, so if you scroll down, you can now see we're inside of our visual editor. So if you wanna change the text, it's just as simple as clicking on the text and you can change it right here. And if you want, you can provide a link so that if somebody clicks on it, it'll take them to that link. And if you wanna edit how that text looks, just click on this paint bucket button and you can change the font family right here. You can change the text color by clicking on this and you can change the size, the font weight and so on. Now you can change all the text on here and even this button. So if you just click on this button, we're still in the paint bucket. So you can edit how the button looks in here and you can do how the button is normally. And then also if you click on the hover button, you can edit what it looks like once you hover your mouse over it. And if you click on the pencil button up here, you can change the button text and also provide a link that the button will take them to. And I can even edit this entire box. So if I just click on this box, what I can do is just go down and I can even change the color. So if I go over to background color and I click on that, I can even bring the opacity down and make it a little bit transparent so that you can see kind of the ship behind it. So the customization here is kind of endless. So now I'll show you how to change the background image for this slide. So I'm just gonna exit out on this. And if you scroll up a little bit, you can just go over to background and click on that. And then you'll see that the image button is already selected. So all you have to do is scroll down and you'll see background and then you'll see the image right here. So just exit out of this image with this little X button and then just add a new one by clicking on the green button. And then just go over to upload files and then select files. Now just select the image and then click on open. Cool, now just click on select. And now our new image is now in here. Pretty easy. So now all you have to do is just go up and click on the save button. And then just go back to the slider button to get back to the main dashboard. And I'll also show you one other helpful tip. So if you scroll down and you click on general, you've got a few other customization options in here for how your slider looks. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can change how the animation works. So right now we've got a horizontal slide. If I wanted, I could try a fade so that whenever I click on each of the arrows, it fades from one image to another, but I'm gonna keep it as horizontal. 
which is just the images sliding from right to left as you click on the arrows. So once again, just click on save. Okay, so step number three is to display your slider on your website. So like I said, I'm gonna show you how to do this with the basic WordPress editor, as well as the Elementor page builder. So first let's do the basic WordPress editor. So all you have to do is simply go to the page that you wanna put it on and edit that. So I'm just gonna go over to pages and I'm just gonna add a new one, but you might wanna use your home page. So let's just pretend that this is my home page. So to add this slider at the top of this page, all you wanna do is just click on this little plus button and this will add a block. And then we're just gonna type in smart slider. And then all you have to do is click on this little widget down here. And then just simply select a slider. So here's mine. Cool, and there is my slider. So now all I have to do is just click on publish and then publish again. And then just simply click on view page to see what it looks like. Awesome, so there is my slider and it is working perfectly. So now I'll show you how to display your slider using the Elementor page builder. So from your WordPress dashboard, just go to the page that you want to put the slider on. In this case, it's my home page. So I'm just gonna go up to my name and go to visit site. And then from here, I'm just gonna simply click on the edit with Elementor button. Awesome. Now, if I wanna add a new section so that I can put the slider in it, all I have to do is just click on the little plus button underneath where I want to add the section. In this case, I wanna put it at the very top. So I'm just gonna click on that button. And then I'm just gonna go over to search widget and type in smart slider. And you'll see two, but we're gonna grab the one that has the little slider icon on it on the right. So just simply drag that widget into the drag widget here section, and then just select your slider. So in this case, this one's mine. Cool, and there is our slider, which you can test out right here in the editor. Now, if you're like me, you might have these little white bars up at the top and the bottom of this slider. So if you'd like to get rid of those, just simply click on the advanced tab over here, and then underneath margin, all you have to do is just give it a value of negative 10. And those white bars are completely gone. Now just simply click on update. And then if you wanna view your changes, just click on the preview changes eyeball button on the left. And there is our slider. Pretty freaking cool. Okay, so that was how to make a slider in WordPress. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Or if you want more website design tips, tricks, tutorials, guides, please smash that subscribe button. You won't be sorry. I'm posting new content weekly. And rumor has it, for every new subscriber that I get, a good dog lands a partnership at his firm and can bring home his own bacon for once. <laughs> These are getting stranger uh, every time. Okay guys, I will see you on the next video.